someone say something that doesn't really make any sense. For example, I'm so hungry, I could eat a whole whale. In reality, no one could eat an entire whale. Whales are just too big to be eaten by one person. This sentence is an example of figurative language. Let's look at three of the many different types of figurative language. This is Jill. Jill is walking home from school one day when she thinks, I'm so hungry, I could devour three zebras. Now, of course, Jill could not eat three zebras all by herself. That's way too many zebras. But what Jill means to say is, I'm so hungry, I need to eat. This is an example of a hyperbole. A hyperbole is a statement or sentence that is not to be taken word for word. So, when Jill says, I'm so hungry, I could devour three zebras, we should not take what she means literally. Let's look at another example of a hyperbole. This is Mary Ann. Mary Ann is going on a walk to the park on a very rainy day. And as she's walking, she says, it's raining cats and dogs. Now, of course, it cannot rain cats and dogs. That's simply not possible. But what Marianne means to say is, it's raining very hard. So, this is an example of a hyperbole. Since it's a statement that is very dramatic and should not be taken word for word. Let's look at another example of a hyperbole. Here is Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty is walking along a sidewalk when he says, it's so hot, you could fry an egg on the sidewalk. Now, of course, he does not actually mean that you can make a fried egg on the sidewalk. What Humpty Dumpty is trying to say is, it is really hot outside. So, this is another example of a hyperbole because, as you can see, it is a very dramatic statement that should not be taken literally. Let's look at another example of a hyperbole. This is Betty. And this is Betty's backpack. When Betty tries to pick up her backpack, she says, that bag weighs a ton. But how much is a ton? One ton is 2,000 pounds or 907 kilograms. So, of course, this bag cannot weigh a ton. What Betty is trying to say is, that bag is very heavy. This is another example of a hyperbole. Since it's an exaggerated statement that should not be taken literally. Now, let's look at another type 
of figurative language. This is Mr. Schmuck. And this is his son, Sammy. Mr. Schmuck says, he is a turtle. Now, of course, Sammy cannot be a turtle. What Mr. Smuck is trying to say is, he is very slow. This is an example of a metaphor. A metaphor is a sentence that compares two objects or actions without using the words like or as. In this case, Mr. Schmuck is comparing his slow son Sammy to a slow turtle. And he does not use the words like or as. Now, let's look at another example of a metaphor. This is a beautiful scene of a lake. And when we look at this lake, we might think, wow, that lake is a mirror. Now, while this lake might look like a mirror, it obviously isn't an actual mirror. What we are trying to say is, wow, that lake is shiny. This is an example of a metaphor. Since we are comparing the lake to a mirror, and we do not use the words like or as. Now let's look at another example of a metaphor. Typically, every 28 days brings a full moon. So when we look up at the moon, one might say, wow, look, the moon today is a white balloon. And of course, the moon cannot be a white balloon. What we are trying to say is, look, the moon is very bright today. Here is another example of the metaphor. Since we compared the moon to a white balloon without using the words like or as. Let's look at another example of a metaphor. Here is Bob, Joe, and Sally. Joe and Sally are talking to each other about Bob. And they say, wow, look at him. He is a walking dictionary. Now, of course, Bob cannot be a walking dictionary because otherwise he would look like this. What they mean to say is that Bob is very smart and knows every word in the English dictionary. This is another example of a metaphor. Now let's look at a different type of figurative language that uses the words like or as. Here is George. George is lifting weights and he says, I am as strong as an ox. Now, of course, George cannot be as strong as an ox. Obviously, George cannot be as strong as an ox because an ox is extremely strong. What George means to say is, I am very strong. 
this is an example of a simile. A simile is a sentence that compares two objects or actions and uses only the words like or as. In this case, George is comparing his strength to the strength of an ox and he uses the word as. A simile is extremely similar to a metaphor. But in a simile, we use the words like or as. While in a metaphor, we do not use those words. Now, let's look at another example of a simile. Here is Oscar. Oscar was walking home from his friend's house when it started to snow. Oscar says, it is as cold as ice. Now, of course, Oscar does not actually mean that it is as cold as ice because ice is freezing. But what Oscar means to say is, it is very cold. This is an example of a simile. Since Oscar is comparing how cold he feels to ice. Here is Superman. Superman says, I am as brave as a lion. Now, of course, Superman is not a lion. But what he means to say is, I am very brave. This is another example of a simile. Since Superman is comparing how brave he is to how brave a lion is by using the word as. Now, let's recap. Today, we looked at three of the many different types of figurative language. We looked at hyperboles, metaphors, and similes. A hyperbole is a statement or a sentence that is not to be taken word for word. A metaphor is a sentence that compares two objects or actions without using the words like or as. And finally, a simile is a sentence that compares two objects or actions and uses only the words like or as.